Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. This is our second video of the day and it's necessary. Apple vs. Epic Games, a major war has started between two of the biggest companies in the world. So here's where we're at. Epic Games today released a statement saying that uh, there's a new Epic Direct payment feature. Uh, it's going to save all customers 20% on all V-Bucks. Basically, they decrease the price of V-Bucks by 20% across the board. But because of this, it was a way to bypass Apple's 30% revenue cut from all App Store or App Store games, including Epic Games, including Fortnite, right? So Apple doesn't get 30% anymore because Epic's created this, this loophole, I guess. Well, Apple didn't like that. So Apple decided to remove Fortnite from the App Store permanently, or at least permanently for now, right? Their Fortnite is no longer on the store. However, it was a bait because Fortnite had all these things ready. We're gonna talk about everything. Fortnite had a lawsuit ready. Fortnite had uh, a video mocking them, a live event that played about an hour ago ready. So they knew they were gonna be removed from the App Store when they made this statement earlier today. And we discussed the detail more than I just said in the previous video. But now we're talking about the lawsuit and what this means and just how hilarious uh for uh, how funny epic games is and how smart they are i feel like it's the most creative way a company can throw shade at another company let's start with fortnite's hashtag free fortnite official post from earlier today uh basically apple's blocked fortnite from the apples or from the app store while instructing epic to remove the direct payment feature apple is keeping prices high so they can collect 30 percent of all your payments and is blocking fortnite in order to prevent epic from passing on the savings from direct payments to you <laughs> they frame that so well in response epic has taken legal action to end apple's anti-competitive restrictions on mobile device marketplaces. The papers are available here. And this will all be linked down below if you do wanna go read through all the legal stuff. Because Apple has blocked your ability to update when Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4 releases in just a couple weeks, uh, I added that part, so still not confirmed, but probably just a couple weeks, <laughs> you will not be able to play the season on iOS. Make your voice heard with hashtag free Fortnite. Right now, I wanna see it in the comments section. I wanna see it on Twitter. I'm a supporter of hashtag free Fortnite. I am on Fortnite's side. I'll tell you why in just a second. But on top of that, you'll still be able to play Fortnite up to 13.4. You just won't be able to update the game. That's how this block uh, affects the iOS version. A couple other questions and answers they have on this page. I just think it's funny. How do I get a refund if I've spent money on Fortnite and can't access my purchases because of the Apple block? Unfortunately, Apple doesn't even allow Epic to directly refund players for iOS purchases and instead requires players to ask Apple for a refund. Please follow all of these instructions instructions to ask Apple for a refund. So basically another way to go spam Apple and annoy Apple into, uh, I guess, folding under this lawsuit. Some details on the lawsuit itself, what their goal is before we get into the live event that happened earlier today. Epic is not seeking monetary compensation from this court for the injuries it has suffered, nor is Epic seeking favorable treatment for itself, a single company. Instead, Epic is seeking injunctive relief uh, to allow fair competition in these two key markets okay so they're fighting for everybody they're against anti-competition uh, like I said before we even knew this was happening it's somewhat of a monopoly right the app store is you know everyone's on the app store and you kind of need to be to do well so that's what well, that's what they're going after here Basically, Epic is trying to get Apple to be more like Android and allow fair competition instead of Apple trying to monopolize and force users to only Apple or force users to use only Apple to buy things on Apple devices from my understanding. And so on Android, you can use the Samsung Store, Google Play, Amazon, and other things. However, on Apple, it's only the Apple Play Store and they take 30% cut from all purchases. So that's the idea here. So of course, this will benefit Epic if, if they win, right? Because then the Epic Game Store, for example, can be used uh, on Apple devices. Uh, but at the same time, 
they're fighting for everybody. So that's why I'm on their side. That's my, like, I'm supporter of hashtag free Fortnite. It's, I guess it's also uh, my livelihood. So I, maybe I'm a little biased there. But let me know your thoughts based on that. Whose side are you on? That's not all the info yet, though. So you can hold your comment or, or comment now and change it after. Quick reminder, before we go any further, I keep you up to date on all things Fortnite. Subscribe to the channel. You've made it this far. You must not find me too annoying, hopefully. Or you're just putting up with me. Regardless, hit that sub button. Turn those notifications on and uh, you won't miss a thing. I'll keep you entertained. Thanks a lot. Fortnite tweeted out, Epic Games has defied the App Store monopoly. In retaliation, Apple is blocking Fortnite from a billion devices. Visit free Fortnite and join the fight to stop 2020 from becoming 1984. So what Fortnite did is they uh, they made a, a parody of Apple's famous 1984 uh, advertisement and they called it 1980 Fortnite. All right, I haven't watched it yet. I'm watching this for the first time with you. Here we go. That is so good. That is so good. I'm just like, I'm in awe of what's happening. Sorry, I'm smiling and laughing so much. I just, I know this is serious, but it's just, it's just hilarious how they are going about this. Uh, so 1984, of course, is a, a book that basically, at least in Canada here, everyone had to read part of the curriculum, I think. And it is uh, just about control, like complete government control but just control in general and how scary uh the idea of power is really it's a it's a great read if, if you, it was one of the only ones that i actually read in high school and uh and enjoyed thoroughly enjoyed so can we talk about how epic fully modeled an apple skin just to go to war with apple fire monkey says <laughs> Uh, I wonder if they'll put this thing up for sale, right? This the, the evil corporation Apple. Now, uh, as I'm continuing to talk here, uh, Sexy Nutella, yes, that's the leaker's name, just did a side-by-side -side comparison um, to, uh, to, to the Apple ad. So Apple made an ad like this back in the day, and Fortnite is uh, making a parody of it while trashing them, basically. So... That's what that's where the the idea was inspired by. Oh, this is genius, man. This is absolutely genius. So let's look at some official statements from Epic and Apple uh, to some different news outlets on, on a couple different things. What outcome does Epic hope for to resolve this blockade by Apple? Epic's position is that all mobile developers and consumers have the right to choose alternative uh, payment providers that charge less. So basically their goal is to have all these different third party, uh, for them it'd be Epic Game Store, but basically so they don't have to pay the 30% fee to Apple. Thus, uh, you know, even if, even if the customer doesn't get everything, the customer is going to save money because of it, right? This is pro-consumer. However, of course, uh, Apple will make less money and then you know if, if the Epic Game Store is there Epic's gonna take a little bit of that profit too so it's a it's a win-win for everyone except Apple <laughs> and that's why Apple's uh, obviously on the other side of this debate does Apple block all apps from processing direct payments no thousands of apps on the App Store are allowed by Apple to, to accept direct payments uh, Amazon Grubhub Nike Best Buy DoorDash McDonald's StubHub Apple is just blocking direct payments for certain products like games Games and companies like Epic. Okay, so I didn't know that. So there are other, um, I guess, companies that are, that that use uh, their own payment processing system. Uh, some are just being blacklisted. So even that, that's weird. I didn't know that. So some are allowed. Some are given special treatment, and then others aren't. 
Hmm. I wonder how that'll affect uh, the court's decision. I, I don't know. Before I answer the next question that was uh, posed to Epic, I want to I want to tell you or show you Apple's official uh, statement on this. Today, Epic Games took the unfortunate step of violating the App Store guidelines that are apply applied equally to every developer and designed to keep the store safe for our users. Remember, keyword safe. With that statement in mind, let's look at another question uh, for Epic. Does a new payment method on mobile mean purchases there are less safe, right? Because Apple said that, it sounded like. No, in operating Fortnite on open platforms and operating the Epic Game Store, Epic has processed over 1.6 billion on direct payments successfully and use, uses industry or uses industry trusted encryption and security measures to protect customer transactions. Uh, so basically saying this safety thing that Apple is, is mentioning makes no sense at all, has no credibility, <laughs> which again, uh, just funny. Well done. I'll let you read any more if you want. Everything's going to be linked down below. Uh, I want to hear your thoughts. There's a couple other interesting pieces of stuff here uh, uh, <laughs> that pertains to this before we end off. Samsung is targeting its ads at the hashtag free Fortnite hashtag. Uh, so you can see, <laughs> this is just funny. So hashtag free Fortnite, then Samsung has, uh, you know, t pr promoting their stuff with this hashtag. So they were obviously aware of what was about to happen and they were, uh, their marketing team was prepped for it. So I just, you know, funny piece of news. On top of that, this might be the best. <laughs> Epic Games has a video prepared on how to jailbreak Fortnite onto iOS if they lose against Apple. <laughs> So they are ready. They win. Obviously, things are, are great. Apple loses. The changes the, the the name of the industry really. But if they lose, Fortnite's got another backup plan. Teach you how to jailbreak your phone, so you can download Fortnite on iOS. That is that's too funny. Uh, this entire thing just crazy. So I hope you enjoyed the second video of the day. It was completely about Apple versus Epic. I just wanted to give you as much insight into the the th or to this battle as possible. Plus, give my opinion. I find this stuff extremely interesting. I love the I love the business side of YouTube. That's what I went for school, or, you know, to school for. Uh, you know, so it's just I love it. I absolutely love listening to this. So I hopefully uh, you enjoyed me sharing some of the details of my opinion on it with you. That's all I got. If you enjoyed, touch that like button for me, please. Subscribe to the channel and code the camp and rusher in the item shop. I know you're going to be spending some of those refunded V-Bucks or I guess bonus V-Bucks, not refunded. Thanks for the support. You guys are awesome. Take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.